we're all very similar. We just do different things at different times. It's kind of weird. I don't know. We're very similar. I think that's how we get along. You know? That made no sense. Sorry. <laughs> But I would always try to get everyone to work out very healthy. I know that for sure. Like, so what do you have for breakfast? Oatmeal? Bro, that's not a smoothie? I was like personal <laughs> hater for it. One girl yeah. that had a cookie in my hand? How many cookies? Slapped it out of her hand. He actually <laughs> slapped it out of her hand. <laughs> actually slapped it out of her hand. <laughs> it's like we have healthy trail mix. Organic, gluten free. We had um, we had some you know like group dinners and stuff like that. We'd all take turns cooking, and by that I mean we'd all watch Drew cook basic things and then eat them. My favorite. <laughs> and uh, we had this thing going. I don't. Know, any of you uh, movie fans too? Woo! Back in the day when you actually rented movies, right? Remember? Yeah. Blockbuster. Blockbuster. Be kind. They had a video store. So they had oh, this amazing too. deal there where you could get you five them? movies. Ten dollars for a week. Yes, we thought it was fantastic, and there were five of us living there because Cameron hadn't got there quite yet. But even after you got there, we did this. He basically lived there. <laughs> we had like a little sunroom, and he would go back there and bake yep. to get rid of some of his paleness. So, I'm just kidding. Of course. And <laughs> we went to the video <laughs> store all together, and we'd each pick a movie, and then every night we'd sit down. And so crazy. We'd, we'd watch a movie, and uh, that was one of our things that we all did as a cast together. It was very fun. I don't remember any of the movies we got, although I do remember we went to Django Unchained like a thousand times. <laughs> Eraserhead. Eraserhead, yeah, that's right. What else? Uh, Chibago, we have, which one? Dr. Chibago, we rented once. Yeah. Tropic Thunder. Next question. <laughs> no super well, um, <laughs> Yeah, you get warped into your own bubble over there. And I, what I've noticed talking to the past rangers is they filmed in California. So they were able to come to work, a 9 to 5 job, and go back home to their family and friends and everything to their real, their real life. Um, us and Samurai uh, went to New Zealand. All of you was each other, the crew, and that was it. So you leave your family behind. That's all you know for like 10 months at a time. So it pretty much takes over your life. And you get really, really close, and it's a lot of hard work. Power Rangers, we, we put in the most hours at each show. We put so much work into it. Um, 12, 16 hour days, six days a week. You don't hear about that. That's why we're not in a show. Um, but we work so hard, and I don't think we get enough credit for it sometimes. But I think that we do a good job. It just you pretty much change our life for a year. My voice is gone. <laughs> Hot tea, hot tea for CR. <laughs> yeah, you kind of live, you, you kind of live and breathe Power Rangers over there uh, because you know, you're part of you know your normal crew of people. So like she said, you're around Power Rangers people all day. I'm sure none of you know what it's like to live and breathe Power Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it does feel like you know when you're a kid, and you're watching some show where you thought. Characters lived that like out. It does feel like that at times. It did feel like that at times. Like, wake up in costume. And sometimes it's not like that. So. <laughs> can I just, I know this is a total non sequitur, but can you hold up your helmet for everybody to see? Guys, check this out. Oh, it's a motorcycle. That is so freaking oh, cool. It's awesome. I, yeah, put it up here. Put it up here. Oh my gosh. That's very cool. I know, it's totally random. Look at this. It's amazing. Never wash this helmet. What happens if you get like a big bug that gets stuck on there? Do you have to spot paint on the spot? Right, yeah, sorry. Next question. Can you go while you're around it? 
that would be that awesome. That's scary. Someone on the water is like, ah! <laughs> 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 Oh, okay. Oh, I think I'm better. <laughs> Ride a go-kart? Like, <laughs> go-kart? carts. We, we did that one time, too. We all went go-karting. Who won? Who won? I think John won, didn't you? Who won the go-kart? They did Down the, the fun stuff before I got there. What are talking about? I'm talking about the go-kart. He did the Alpine slide. Oh, illusion. Slide. So there in, in New Zealand there's a lot of different things to do. Who's been to New Zealand? Right, show of hands. Okay, it's it's I mean it's a really Have you ever seen Lord of the Rings? It looks like that. Yeah. Okay, I think exactly it's like that. Everywhere you feel like you're in Hobbit. Or <laughs> Mount Doom or some of the Shire. Yeah, you're everywhere yeah. all at once. And there's this place in a city called Queenstown in South Island. Oh, love it. And we took a gondola to the top of the mountain and to get back down a part of the mountain, you luge where you sit in this little crazy go-kart with no brakes, okay? So you, you, to go, you lift the chassis off of the front wheel, and that allows you to start moving. To brake, you lower the chassis, and the chassis scraping along the ground is what stops you. Or you can take the leg out and stop yourself, which is what we had to do. That's exactly right. So we go down this hill, and the hill we're going down has, it's, what is it, it's four of us right there's no rails going down this hill. And we're all extremely competitive. Okay? So we're, ra we're racing each other straight down. Everyone except Christina. Christina's in the back just chilling, enjoying the view. She found out how to break it and had a hard time finding how to accelerate. Do you remember this? I'm just taking my time to try to see Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> By the time we got to the bottom, I didn't know they were taking pictures, did you? We didn't know they were taking pictures, so we get to the bottom and we look at the pictures. So Christina is, do Christina. <laughs> she is over it when that picture comes on. And, and John, John, John just, you were just having fun. You were kind of like, he was having fun. It's, uh, looks like she's about to invade Russia. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, so she's, she's... I think you could see your face twitching in the picture. I don't know if that's possible. Yeah, they did all the fun stuff before I got there. <laughs> <laughs> they did the South Island with the Luge and everything. They did paint Molly. They went... Uh, what's that? Uh, the hmm? sandboard or whatever. Did you guys stand for it? Oh, we, we went down the mountain in the... Yeah, do you guys remember that episode? Anybody? And then when I got there, we went fishing. <laughs> hey, but it was fun fishing. Don't pretend like Coromandel Peninsula wasn't beautiful. It was amazing. We did catch like 36. Yeah, we caught 36 <laughs> red stuff. We, we, we ended up right in the middle of... Anyone ever been fishing? Yeah. Okay. Oh, sure. <laughs> so, we... we, we, we yeah, it's a question and answers for the fans. Exactly. Do you guys want to ask us questions or do you want us to ask you questions? Both. All of the above? Yes. <laughs> you want to go to Let's give them a chance. And then Gyros? Do you want to try those? Euros? Euros. Euros. Are we going to have some questions? Yeah, let's have some fan questions. Go to the mic. First, number one. Uh, now, I know that uh, Power Rangers is an adaptation to uh, Super Sentai. I'm wondering if you guys have to see Super Sentai even before or after you were in the show. Requirement. <laughs> <laughs> For you guys, it was a requirement. Yeah, they gave us all the It wasn't a requirement, but they gave it was, it was strongly recommended. I didn't see a single episode until probably six to eight weeks into filming. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but we have to like watch the scene and through all watch the first scene together. Like, like before we filmed a little bit and then during all we were filming, we watched some stuff. And then we had reference footage for, you know, when it switched back and our footage together. It's very good. Good. I mean, 
it's kind of, you know, it's a lot rougher to show up there. The parents disappear and don't come back. You're going to the parents. I know. I mean, it's... They're like us in the Japanese. They cuss, man. The monsters are the monsters. Death, there's death oh, you always put my feed with tons the of actors, yeah, Japanese actors, do you guys know this? This old news. The Japanese actors do their own makeup. What? Yep. We get our makeup. Yeah. Done. We're super. We get our makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid American actors. We're, we're yeah. definitely yeah, we, divas. And I love it. I'm not nice. I love it. But they come in. They do their own makeup. They spend an hour to an hour and a half doing their own thing and every day. So all the consistency, all the continuity, is all put on the actor's shoulders. That's too much stress on me, man. That's too much stress for me, man. I'm on edge. A cup of coffee and somebody playing with my hair for an hour. Where'd you get that? Oh, yeah. Do you have any, uh, when you're your old team, do you have any favorite seasons of Power Rangers? Like, the juicy seasons of Power Rangers? The American or Super Sentai? Yeah, yeah, yeah. RPM was really sick to me, and then I got to morph into Silver and Gold from RPM, which was like... John Cena. Thank you. Thank you for the question. Nice. So it's not right as having been inspired me since I was growing up. It's been around since forever. We all love it. If you could choose what type of video game you would turn Power Rangers to, would it be an RPG or Friday Ultimate? Ooh, video game. Oh, those are the only two That's options. Really? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> yeah. Mario Kart. Yeah. yeah. Get it, get it. Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Oh, yeah. Hello, Mega Zelda. Because I know you guys like the voice of Mario, right? Oh, yeah. Yes, I know. What would you guys want? I would. What would. Uh. Oh, Knights of the Old Remember Knights of the Old Republic? Yeah. Yes. What kind of game is that considered? Is oh, that, uh, that's like RPG I'm mix. A, MMO. It's an MMO. MMO. Yeah. 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 Uh, and it's, a, it's a little bit scattered and everything. That's, that's got a little bit of everything. So I, I thought yeah, I like walking it's around as, as, the, as the exactly. character, but then also getting to just oh, have bugs and fight when you wanted to. Being in an anthology film of that. I have a. I feel like, sorry, I just feel like though, if it was RPG, it would be hilarious for like. <laughs> like, like you, 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 you deploy Emma to make your money so that you can buy things at the exactly. market and upgrade your stuff. Emma, you're, you're, you're like the auction house in World of Warcraft. We'd be, oh, we'd be yeah. using you. <laughs> and then John, you would be how we get technological advances. Yeah. I wish it would be like kind of like MK, Mortal Kombat, yeah. X, super just yeah. dark. <laughs> <laughs> so would you bring all the Power Rangers from all the generations to just duke it out one big combat fighting game and then go up It's like Marvel vs. Capcom. Like Marvel yeah. Capcom. You could have the Savage Rangers versus the Disney Rangers. Smash Rangers. Smash Rangers. I, I have a really specific answer to this question. I would Rangers. love for the next <laughs> um, installment of World of Warcraft to be Power Ranger themed. You know how they made like the Kung Fu Panda one? Yeah. yeah. They should make a Power Ranger. They should make a Power Ranger. <laughs> okay. Levels like 110 to 120, because you know they're going to get that. <laughs> Those can be your Power Ranger levels. And when you finally get to 120, you're just trying to get the greatest spandex that you can. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and obviously, I mean, obviously, Black Mega Force spandex would be the strongest spandex in the game. So, <laughs> unless it's what? green. What? Unless it's green Super Mega Force. Yeah, then that's. that's true. No, bro, I got that gold one though. I, I don't even. I can't even hear you. You're not speaking English. <laughs> 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 Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. Zero. <laughs> you guys have to go crazy every time. That's your job. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I think what's more ridiculous is, is that we don't get into our Megazord 
was first and just ended right there. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you think done? You think the yeah, thing was the first 20 episodes. Moving on. Wait, wait, Stitcher. Morals. It's probably why in the first episode we vanish and appear in the next rest of the season we're running everywhere. <laughs> next episode. Yeah, that one that one really that one really got me. That one uh, I was a little angry about that. We should have been teleported. <laughs> we should have been Only the first episode. We know they spent like a month and a half trying to decide what color I should teleport to because they decided black didn't show up and they ended on purple. And they never used the graphic again. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? You know what? Okay, I'm sorry. You know what? Kind of like irked me was that. Oh, 32. <laughs> episode 13 when you do switch places. Uh huh. I, I, I the grass is always green. But I put on your stuff, right? You don't and then I don't put on your stuff. Put on your stuff. Put on your stuff. I put on the whole thing. Where is that in my board? <laughs> you know what it was? <laughs> Did my mom wash my clothes that day and not at the other day? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You guys, we wore the same clothes every day, and I complained no, so much. No, hey, Jake, you're on here. You want to get some clothes? That we yeah. buy this? <laughs> oh no, I just wear this ever. Just wear it. Did you guys notice, like, at the towards the end of Super Mega Force, any of the clothes fading colors at all? Yeah, they do. Yeah. They washed those things so many times that by the end of the two seasons, for sure the colors were fading. Oh, they would totally do. Yeah. Really? Yeah, t-shirts. There's only yeah, you had like a specialty blue polo. Yeah. <laughs> what well, it came from the UK and they were like, do not get this dirty. Do not get this dirty. Yeah. And I was like, you guys are putting dirt on me right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, but, yeah, but John, do not that's, get that's, this dirty. John, you're that's lucky, John. Dirt. That's clean dirt. dirt, not dirty dirt. <laughs> do not get this dirty. <laughs> you had eight shirts? Exactly. I only had one wallet chain. Right? They were like, yeah. these are the only. You were like, these are the only. You're not getting this. It's chocolate turkey. Uh, what do you mean by that? Like, they don't make them. <laughs> <laughs> you you <laughs> do not get it dirty. <laughs> <laughs> what what episode we're like scooping in the mud, actual mud, and I'm like, there's no way. There's absolutely no way. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that the day that I fell? Yeah. Uh, uh, I slipped. I walked up a wall. Oh. <laughs> it was bad. It took a long time to get that out. <laughs> Wait, did you ask your question? No. <laughs> we totally screwed her up. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. For miles away. Megaforce 
and super mega force, you guys are always wearing the same clothes. I mean, <laughs> like, you guys. <laughs> no, no, no. Very important things to do. It's a really good question. Yeah, priorities. Oh, wait. The world wait, or change clothes. <laughs> I wore a cow suit yeah. once. Realistically speaking, I think the aim was to make us look like a live action cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, Cameron. That's definitely not it. <laughs> but they want us to look like cartoon characters in real life. So when you watch a cartoon, how often does he actually change clothes, right? It kind of does make this way. They were like, they were like, I asked Jonathan, our producer, on the show, and he, I asked him, I was like, hey, so why don't we change clothes? This is season two. Oh, God. So they're also cheap, and they don't want to watch clothes. And he says, clothes. he said, well, if we change clothes now, people will get confused. Oh, <laughs> what? So did you guys just have, like, a giant really? wardrobe of the confused? same clothes? Yeah. That was, that was the same clothes. Wait, was... so, did, so you guys just had a giant wardrobe of the same clothes? Yes. yes. Wow. Why are they how does, how, how does that work? I had a lot of pants. <laughs> Why not just wear the same thing and then just wash it again? Because we would get one thing dirty one day and they would have to wash it and do, you know, treat it overnight or get it dry cleaned because some of our stuff was made of another, another, sorry. Okay. Okay. Uh, another reason for like a film aspect of it, it was easier for cutting footage. I know with <coughs> certain seasons, it's hard to, oh, we need to reshoot this or something and getting the same looks and hair, some everything, because it changes randomly. So to us, for us to look exactly the same all the time, they can edit it and be able to reshoot things much easier for the film. Like save a lot of time. Yep, save a lot of time. And money. So another example, we would walk in, we would walk into our trailers in the morning and, and I would see three of my outfits hanging there. And I would know, okay, I'm probably getting dirty today. <laughs> so I would shoot a scene and we would be in the water or the forest or something. I'd have to come back to the trailer and we'd go to the next scene, but I would put on the same costume, but it's a scene that takes place when I'm not fighting or something, not running through the woods. So we'd have to wear, we'd have to change a lot. There was one episode where John and I, because we were, we were talking about this, and we, we tried to get in some dialogue that that actually, you know, talked about what you're saying there, about how we're in the same clothes. He walked up to the lock, and remember this? He walked up to the lock, and I go, it's in between conversation. I think he's, yeah, where's Gia? Where's Gia? I was asking where Gia is. <laughs> what did I say? Oh, man, yeah. Nice jacket. Were you wearing that yesterday? <laughs> and, and, and they always, they always, you know, they come up and they say, Azim, that's not in the script. You know, you can't, you can't say it. I go, oh, did I say that? <laughs> and then we do it the next time. Whoa, man, cool jacket. Never seen that one before. <laughs> and we just kept trying to get it in, and they always cut it out. We Aww. never put that line because it always got cut out. Aww. Oh, just, you know. But to answer your question, you're exactly right. It's, it's, the, reason is why, the reason why we do that is because it's, it's easier for them to edit. You know, it's cheaper for them. So if we film something that we're wearing different clothes, they don't have to go back and try to find it. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw that. It's so cool. <laughs> yeah. You got good stuff. So after you became part of I have no idea how to Exactly. Oh my God. Look, right. So funny. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh. <laughs> oh. Either way, it's good bragging rights. Like, my friends brag about me more than I ever. I never say anything. They're like, oh, but she's a power manager. But I'm like, calm down. Yeah. It's but, more like my wife's family being yeah. like, can we get an autograph? Friends and family are like, my new nephew. You know who does? Do it. You all know, uh, uh, oh, I'm going to throw a little bus here. Um, Do you know Najee? Oh, Najee. Oh, Blue Rizzy? <laughs> He's a samurai yeah. blue. Yep. I'm telling you, I went to I went to an Here's event. Here's my card. I went to an event with this kid once, and he's got his. He's got, he's, he's, he always looks good. He's going to tell you. Always looks good. Yeah, and he's got his little his little um, uh, bow tie. Oh, sorry, English language is failing me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, little bow tie, button up, his whole outfit, and he was looking buff. You know, he was looking like he put on some weight. And I went up to him and said, Najee, man, you look good. You've been exercising, bro. What are you doing? And he goes, Now check this out. And he unbuttons his shirt, opens it, and he's wearing the Blue Ranger spandex. I'm not kidding. It's underneath, like, 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 like at any moment, someone's going to attack me. He's just going to. I'm ready to go! I'm ready to go! I can't make this up. I can't so make this up. That's walking around our hotel. Yeah, but I see him at the gym all the time. I can't wait to get that mask on. Oh, no. oh. Hey, you wearing your... Oh, no. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, man. Dakota, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Did that make you want to eat your vegetables more or no? <laughs> yeah. Natural born vegetable. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> need a different test subject. <laughs> What's your uh, question about Kamen Rider? Do they change their clothes or do they wear the same outfit? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's... I think that's the same. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So, in uh, recent years, we've had several independent reboots of Power Rangers, Power Slash Rangers, in the ER Resort and Beltar. How do you feel for these independent reboots of the franchise and the series? Fan films and more than that. Yeah, like reboots and fan films and stuff. Like, how do we feel oh. about those? Oh, like the, the one that uh, Addy Shankar made? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh man, I bet you this is a split room on that one. <laughs> yeah. So like the one, the one with Jane Fear. Yeah, no, yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah, that's stupid shit. I know. I love it. I love it. All right, well, Dakota's got a thumbs down. Uh, oh, oh yeah. Ooh, I want to hear this opinion. What's your take on it? <laughs> I mean, look at, I mean, look at, at 
these conventions, imitation is the highest form of flattery, right? Yeah. Look at all these people dressing up as their favorite characters. So when these filmmakers make their own version of uh, Power Rangers and stuff like that, it's, it's awesome. I think it's cool. I think it's really cool. It's already. So why, why is it any different for other filmmakers to take what they see and portray it their own way? You know what I mean? Exactly. Bring their own art to it. I, I, the, shows are so, the shows are so different from Japan to America already. You know, I mean, he took Super Sentai and turned it into Power Rangers and really, really. They're different shows. <laughs> and you guys have seen both. They're different shows. So then to take ours and make it happen. Yeah, I don't see the problem. I really enjoyed it. Although I did like that they put a uh, PG-13 or something in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably. I like the grittier stuff. Yeah, I like it too. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a breath of fresh air when, when we see, you know, our kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. When we see some little stuff like that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Plus, I love Battlestar Galactic. You're going down. Thank you for the work. No, thank you. All right. Hello. Yeah. Hey, um, since you guys have two seasons of Sentai work together to Mega Force and Super Mega Force, how do you guys feel about that? Um, because some of the fans have been talking, oh, like Super Mega Force shouldn't have it should have its own season instead of a power up suit. So, what is your guys' thought on that? <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, some some fans like it could have been it should not be a super like a power up suit. It should have been its own season instead of you know the power up suit season. Okay, so if 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 it had been a standalone season, would you have still wanted us in Mega Force, or would you have wanted a new cast? With is is it an entirely new show or um, two separate seasons? Yeah, two right? separate seasons. Yeah. There's a guy um, back on. Yes. We yeah, we would want to do that. I, I say I aim for you guys as uh, Mega Force. Well, when I did Mega Force, I think we originally I thought that was our suit. That was it. Yeah. We had no idea we were doing Super Mega Force that. Yeah, some of us didn't know that either until we yeah. saw some. We had no idea until we even came to set like training, like not training, uh, fitting for our new suits. We had no idea. Even the keys on the walls, we had no idea what oh. they're for. <laughs> we're in the command center like the whole season. I was like, what are these things? Like, yeah, they did it on purpose. I, which is cool because it was a surprise factor for us. Yeah, they didn't want us to, because they know us and especially me on social media. Yeah. It's pretty much me walking to the So it's just pretty me. <laughs> I would have liked. I would have liked it to be a, a different season because I think oh, yeah. maybe that would have given a chance for each a character to have a little more development, especially Ryan, but all the characters. <laughs> Instead of just like I'm here, bye. Here, pals. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. And wouldn't it also be the same thing that you used in a Megaforce, which you had to be a man or something like that? Sorry, I didn't hear my morpher. It was on vibrate. <laughs> <laughs> that actually happened, didn't it? Yeah, it was a cool. Cool. Hey, we almost died. Oh, I didn't hear my morpher. I didn't hear my morpher. Shocking. I mean, I think there was a day where there wasn't um, a lot of footage from Megaforce, um, the Japanese version. Um, yeah, to you. Yeah, um, go There wasn't a lot of footage, so they combined two seasons of it and made it ours. Um, so it, it was just for editing reasons. I think that, oh, we can make this work. They're both really cool. And yeah, it was a little, I think, confusing kind of how it happened. But yeah. either way, I'm stoked that I was able to do both because I think that we got spoiled and it's not fair that we have to use this. Um, my second question is, if you guys did have a chance to work with the Japanese counterpart of the actors, would you guys work with the Go Sages or the Go Kaijus? Go Kaijus. I'd be scared. <laughs> <laughs> if, we had, wait, if we had a chance to work with the actors? Yeah, the Japanese actors. Did you guys work with the, uh, you know, the Go Sages <laughs> actors or did you guys work with the Go Kaijus actors? You mean the actual actors themselves? Yeah, they're like, themselves. We were going to do a crossover. Yeah, crossover. Something happened. Crossover. And you know, there was actually girls, you guys didn't think that there was another group of Well, I haven't know. met any of them personally. I know that um, recently the new yes. Dino Charge, yeah, Yoshi's been yeah. meeting with this so, you know, Yoshi's all I know! I know. I feel you guys too. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I, so do you mean like 
Do you mean like work with them? Or yeah, we're really like have a cross. Yeah, like a crossover. Yeah, like a crossover. Yeah, cross yeah, cross I think it'd be really funny if it was okay. if it was uh, Ghost Sager because in that one, black and yellow are brother and sister, and in this one, black and yellow are love interests. Yeah. And so I think if we if we if we all demorph together, it'd be that fun, really confusing moment where we all kind of. <laughs> Wait, what? What's going on here? Yeah, that's pretty much it, but thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. Good. We had got on set, and we, we met them at a dinner before we um, started filming, and he comes on set, and he has, like, his, he has his green spandex on, and it's, you know, like, cause we, we have it on, but, like, sit the half way down when we're not filming, and he has the piece of jacket on. He comes up to me, I just met him, he comes up to me, and he gives me a big old hug, and he's like, man, I just don't want to go crap. <laughs> I was like, all right, it's good to work with you too. But there was a moment when we were we were lined up across from like right when they show up and they take their helmets off, and it's that moment where it reveals all the Rangers. Um, right before we filmed that scene, we're all standing there, and JDF just kind of like walks up and shakes my hand. And he's just like, just want to let you know you guys are doing a really good job, and we're all really excited to be here. And that meant a lot. That was like a really cool feeling. Because all of us watched him as a kid. All yeah. of us watched a lot of them as kids. So it was really nice to see their, to have their encouragement. You know. Shortly after that, he broke his boot. Oh. Yeah, he broke his boot. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, um, it, <laughs> um, it reminded me of when we got introduced at Morphcon. Um, the trailer was like the, all the rangers rushing in and to be filming it, and this is actually happening. Goosebumps, I've gone goosebumps all day. It's just amazing, crazy feeling that rush of when we first had a first had a morph fun. All came back all over again. It was, it was really cool. It's kind of sad too because we knew it was almost over. Yeah, it was like, oh, no, okay, we got like three more days here. Oh, it's rock and roll. Yeah, it was emotional, weirdly emotional for all of us. That whole, the whole scene, exciting and sad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys remember we tried to make the uh, what, what's what's that called? The song. The... Oh, 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 Harlem oh, 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 I'm still so pissed yeah. about that. Because yeah, they had all the, the props, all the monsters, all the suits. For all power the suits. Shake. Every <laughs> Power Ranger from every like, when you was in, in America was in one room. The warehouse was in one room. Everybody, the like, warehouse this big. It's a really stack of everything you can imagine. Power Rangers. And we wanted to do that video. It would have been the best video. They wouldn't have lost. We only got uh, half of it. Hey, guess what? Half I did a Harlem Shake video with the crew in the cast. <laughs> oh, yeah, the tag team. Yeah. What? I did. We did in the scene where I was dancing in my underwear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we, did a, we did a Harlem Shake. It was awesome. <laughs> 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 I got the shake! <laughs> no, all fishing. <laughs> yeah, I got the fishing and the, and, the, and the naked dancing. Yeah. 
Yeah. Make it a little gyrated in front of the part that The farthest we got was all of them in the room, and now there's just footage somewhere of me in a corner dancing like an idiot, <laughs> and nobody else dancing. Because we only got the first part of it. Uh, did, they, did they really stop you in the middle of it? No, 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 no. I did it, and then I walked away to see what it looked like, and uh, all the executives walked right up and went, What are you doing? Are you filming? I was like, Hey. Yeah. But that, like, no, it'll be no. But then, 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 then creating a movie. <laughs> We're just making a video. What kind of video? It's you know a Harlem Shake video. You know what that is? <laughs> they didn't know what the Harlem Shake is or was, but they really weren't into it. Yeah. I know. Boom. <laughs> It's actually my son. Jason? Aww. It's okay, kiddo. You don't have to also know how Robo Knight is doing. Uh. Oh. Troy? Oh. Robo Knight is well. He's hanging out with his best friend, the Tin Man. <laughs> He's enjoying the weather, getting ready for school, you know, getting prepared. You know, they were. They had a kind of a falling out. But I think, uh, I think something good's going to happen out of it, though. They needed a change. Good stuff. He's happy. Do you, do you, miss, happy. Do you miss Robo Knight, Jason? Are you a little embarrassed? It's okay. It's okay. You don't need to be embarrassed. Everybody give Jason a round of applause. Aww. I don't need a cookie in my hair. It's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> you made this sound. That hey, I'm Andre. Yeah, yeah. Only, only, yeah. Only bats can hear the sound. That you make. <laughs> okay. How, can you make that sound? That really high pitch. That. Yeah. What? Well, like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of educational public speaking for the youth, uh, trying to guide young artists into the industry, um, just giving them inspiration, motive, and guidance. That's something I didn't have getting into the entertainment industry. And going to Hollywood is a big step. It takes a lot of courage, but when you get there, you're looking for you know solutions, you're looking for answers, and I think you have to find themselves within yourself before you can find them externally. And that's what I've been doing, and I've uh, been able to speak in front of over 100,000 kids this year, past year and a half. And Traveling to different countries doing it, and it's only getting bigger. But other than that, staying in school and educating myself so that I can share more and unlearn some old habits to get some better habits. And auditioning and rebuilding the team uh, management wise and auditioning so I can get back out there and continue to film and do what I love to do. But most importantly, just staying healthy spiritually, mentally, physically, and being around my family. So that's what For those of you who don't know, Drew is an incredibly dedicated, positive person. He was so good to have on set. <laughs> yeah. Love you too. Oh. The only time he wasn't positive was when he got hurt and had to wear this neck. Oh my god. What? what? It's the only, oh. the only negative picture that we have, Drew. He's just like. <laughs> Do we have a picture? The so we have the first <laughs> two weeks we're in like basic training, I guess, for stage combat. Okay. I got kicked in the throat by the <laughs> Japanese, and they're like, and, and he was full round, I was kicked, and I was like, oh, we're done here. <laughs> <laughs> and it just paralyzed me. I could not move. I had a neck brace on for, I don't know, a month. Physical therapy, and yeah, that was bad. Oh, then I got punched in the forehead. And I had the John claude Van Damme knock in my forehead. I had to put makeup, and Not in public. But yeah, I got hurt. I wanted to go full bore. I was like, I don't want to stunt you. I don't want to like, you need a stunt you can get hurt. I don't need it. I'm not going to get hurt. Cut. <laughs> Ow. But they didn't allow us to do that much. They were like, so what are you guys going to do on the weekends? They're like, well, what are we allowed to do? They're like, nothing. We'll see you on Monday. <laughs>
Sorry, That's sorry, guys. I'm passing this over. I just I was looking for a picture of during the neck brace. We just <laughs> stared. I have an equally funny picture. Um, but yeah, so that'll be out in January. So if you follow me on like Twitter or Instagram, you'll be able to see it. So at Johnny for a while. Yeah, all of our social platforms on Instagram, Tumblr, Facebook, you name it, are pretty. I mean, it's updated our day to day lives. So if you guys are truly interested, get connected, be involved. So we can be involved in your life as well. You know, we want to know more about your guys' stories. I'm sorry, I'm looking at this picture because this picture is actually when we first got cast. First time we met. First time we ever met. And make it first time. Can you zoom in? Oh, that'd be awesome. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So now you're posting it. This was pre-training. You know, my hair was a little Wilder. We both have afros. <laughs> what? We both have afros. We had afros, man. That's another thing, and this is a total non sequitur from before, but I meant to talk about this. When we switch clothes, how come I have a comb over and you never combed your hair? I don't, I don't, there's a lot of things that I just didn't get. Irksome. Yeah, yeah. Looking at this picture, it's pretty cool because I remember all of us getting, there was this guy who was like, on the stunt team, whatever, and he oh, knew all the poses, you know, oh, yeah. by heart. From Monday to Sunday, he knew these, and we had no idea we'd never done any of these poses. So he's like, okay, we're gonna do something easy. Okay, we're just gonna start off something easy. He's like, oh. <laughs> 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 and I'm like, wait, what? And I'm like, I'm shaky. I'm not that flexible yet, you know? All the girls are doing that, I'm like, ah, oh, it's like the worst yoga pose ever. <laughs> anyway, that's what that picture is. It's hilarious. That's fine. Okay, good. Oh, well, wait. I know she's not. But, uh -oh. Ciara. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ciara, let's talk about that. Ciara captures new Melrose play. She's uh, playing uh, Heather Locklear. She's playing oh, Heather Locklear. Oh, wow. What's out by next month? Heather who? Heather. Nice. Tune in to uh, the acting. Tune in to acting. Uh, to continued acting, uh, I love acting. Um, I recently did an unauthorized Melrose play to paint Heather Lock. There comes out my time October 10th. Yay! Yeah. Uh, so I started that nice. I've been doing lots of random things with Power Rangers, like uh, guest stars on things, horror movies. I kind of just kept the bug going. I, I'm obsessed with it. So. Oh, yeah, social media, uh, Instagram, Twitter. You guys know I'm a pretty constant woman. See your hand. Uh, I got to put that in because he told me to. Um, uh, yeah, I try to keep everyone updated, but I just, just live in the afterlife, kind of just my thing. Thanks, Christina. Christina's awesome. Hi. 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 H
Silver Super Mega Force. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's a lie. It's not a lie. You're the coolest character. I love you. We love you. Stop it. <laughs> Silver. Silver. I want to be uh, one of the cycle rangers. Yeah. Wolf Ranger or whatever that guy is. Is it purple? I think he's purple. He's like a wolf. Oh, purple. He's from Double Fury. I turned it in. Cool. You want to switch? No. <laughs> <laughs> Territorial power. Huh. Uh, yeah, probably the Wolf Ranger or Titanium. Or John Cena! <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh. Sorry. Yes. Probably turned into a guy whose name is John Cena. Um. What would you be, John? Cena. I don't. I probably. I mean, like growing up, I'm just like obsessed with red. Red is my favorite color. Yeah. I'd be armored Red Ranger. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm scared to talk. When I met him, I was just like, hi. Did you do Andre's thing? I literally watched him as soon as we got back from our break for Christmas. I watched him and I got the next And then I saw that he was coming here. I was like, oh. Wait, the movie's Steve Cardenas, isn't it? Yeah. No. I'm sorry. Turbo. Turbo. Yeah. Yeah, but I was just like, I know my history. <laughs> His arm is as big as your torso. <laughs> yeah. He spanked me earlier. <laughs> it was a birthday spank. <laughs> Keep it PG 13. Walter lifted me in the air and he like did a wind up spank. Just let you know. There's no joke there. There's no punchline. That kind of VIP package. <laughs> <laughs> I always get Kimberly from So, but also, I, I do really love. Is that Disney? <laughs> always accessible. <laughs> She spreads like it's true. flowers and good oh. vibrations. <laughs> the room, rainbows just start <laughs> So, anyways, who else? You guys got? You guys got? No, I said David. Oh yeah. I love the cast that we had. But yeah. I, I, I mean, I. He got offered it. He turned down. Yes, reason, but I wish. Sure. I'm the, you know, I feel like I am the brown Billy. <laughs> <laughs> There is, there is, no, but there is one other ranger we really wanted to be there. You know who it is. Blake Foster. Oh. John Cena! <laughs>
When you step out that door, you're an Avenger. Oh! Finally! I'm an Avenger! Spider-Man in the MCU? Nothing makes sense!